Okay, here's a juicy one. How does this idea of an inner juice relate to the transformation process of the butterfly? In other words, how are people like butterflies? Well, I was trying to think when I was working at this about what, what causes this change from one form to another? What's happening? Actually, in a butterfly, it's, there is a juice that's going on. And in the crystal stage or the cocoon stage, there's no butterfly and there's no caterpillar anymore. It is just all very, very juicy. But I'm referring here to that, those inner intuitions, those inner instincts, those inner, ah, those inner things everybody experiences from time to time, and more probably if you're meditative and intuitive, of what you're supposed to do next. And one of the key things that happens in Hope of the Flowers is that Stripe, our hero in the beginning, mistakes that inner juice where he's looking for the more of life. That's what he's doing. He's, he's tired of eating and getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and he says there must be more to life than eating and getting bigger. So he crawls down the tree and looks around, meets others, and they don't know any more about it than they, he does about the meaning of life. And then he sees this pillar. Ah, that must be it. Must be it because everybody's going there. Must be it because there's millions of caterpillars climbing it. Okay, that must be it. So his inner yearnings and juice are mistaken because he sees the crowd going there. Well, make your own conclusions about human life from that one. You don't need to have me spell out the meaning of that, I don't think, about what it means in people's lives. When we see a lot of people rallying towards something or going to the football game or, or seeing the Super Bowl as the most important thing in their lives or seeing that the latest iPod or whatever is the most important thing or the latest movie or the latest dress or the fancy car. These are all a misleading, uh, I rather mean, misreading of our inner juice, which is to have more and to get more, and to become more. Actually, it's to become more, to become more centered, more loving, more just, more generous. Those would be the real that's the real juice of our lives that we're called to. And the other is all an illusion and a, a false way to go. And there's nothing at the top. There's nothing at the top. There just isn't. It's, it's illusion, and it's uh, never satisfying. And you'll see what happens. You look around the people who could never spend the money they have in a, in a million years, practically. And yet, they seem to want more. What's that all about? What's this accumulation of wealth all about? I don't know. And you know that I believe God made a world that works, but it means that we have to do some sharing. Okay? That's sort of the heart of this question. You're asking awfully hard questions here. And that story tells itself. It really doesn't need me to say any of this. <laughs>